Words, he was not just speaking ordinary letters. They are deeper than the than the, than the sound. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we pray for the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Amen. Illumine our eyes. Amen. Give us understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Your knowledge is like a key that opens the door into God's world, into God's kingdom. Praise God. Hallelujah. Your knowledge is like a key that sets me free from the power of death. Amen. It sets me free free from the slavery to sin and corruption. It exhausts me high above all principalities and powers. Amen. And it causes me to sit in heavenly places. To realize the inheritance that you gave me from the foundation of the world. Amen. Father, illumine our eyes today. Amen. Let that thing come to pass today in our lives when we said, let there be light in the beginning. And there was what? Light. There was light. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the light flood the hearts of the people today and let them be illumined with your truth in this hour. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the next phase of this, um, somebody said the prayer is not enough. <laughs> you know as I pray just now, help will shake. Amen. 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 Your eyes have to be open to understand the things of the spirit. Exactly. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. I've tell you, I've walked into place before. I didn't need to pray. And when I opened my eyes, I saw all the people on the floor. We've had those experiences. Hallelujah. Amen. So God is more interested in how we can hear exactly. what he's saying than reputation of words. We have to learn to grow above these things, you know. And become mature Christians. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to invite our pastor brother, friend, man of God, Jonah. He'll just give an exhortation. Praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, before we share, we're going to the now, you know what I'm about to share today. We're well, going to dig into the mystery of the rapture. Amen. 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 Are we out of the rapture? Yes. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. You know when Jesus Christ was taken up into a cloud in the book of Acts at the end of his ministry, the disciples were there looking, looking at the sky. You know what happened? An angel came to tap the disciples. What are you people looking at? Luku Luku. What are you looking at? You know some of us are still out there looking like this today? Exactly. We are still looking to the sky, waiting for something to happen. When we don't realize that everything you are looking for is already present. It's a great mystery. We are going to hear the, the thing today. So I invite, invite Pastor Jonas and um, to give you a word before we, we round up. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we will try and finish on time. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that we don't do what they call the African time, whatever. African time. When the time comes to close, we close, we go. Amen? Amen. And you will digest what the Lord has given to you. Bless you. Hallelujah. You are welcome, brother. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We give God the glory for such a great occasion as this for us to fellowship one with another. The Bible says indeed our fellowship is with God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, the word makes us to understand that because we are united with Christ, 
we have got an inheritance. Amen. That's right. Amen. Because we are united Amen. Uh, to Christ, we have got an inheritance that seeks to set a principle whatever we are connected to we partake of the value of that thing and if we are united to Christ we partake and we share of the essence of Christ and as we are here we all have come from different backgrounds. We all have values. We all have experiences. And that is what we have come here with. And that is what we are going to be sharing. So that at the end of the day, we identify and we generate one single identity. Because it is by sharing that we create one common identity identity so we are here to listen to what God has for us we give you praise and glory we exalt your name we pray that today heavens will open and then the voice will sound that majestic voice that sounded at one time it has never changed it is the same today that we are praying that your children will hear your voice because that voice will bring about a transformation that voice will arouse a reaction that we might be like that voice in Jesus name Amen Hallelujah I, I have been asked to give an exhortation. An exhortation is supposed to be very short. Thing. And that is what I'm going to do. Amen. Amen. Now, we know that God is a great communicator. Our relationship with Him it cycles around nothing but communication. He is the greatest communicator ever. Era comunicatore più grande. And uh, the word to communicate comes from a Latin word. Arriva da una parola di latino. Communis agere. Che è agere. That means making available for the sharing and the common use of all. Che quella vuol dire far making available. Che fa entra available. Whatever. Qualsiasi cosa. For the common use. La usanza. Of all. Di tutti. Amen. Amen. So if God is a great communicator, se, se Dio un, un comunicatore uh, what all God is doing is communication, e che Dio fa è dare communication is to make available e to for the common use of all his listeners la usa di tutte le sue cose. that which is his essence, che è in essenza, that which is his character, che è suo character that which is his nature, che è sua natura, that which are his values. Che è suo valore, Everything that God is che Dio is è. what he is making available available for the common use of all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we need to understand one thing. But when we communicate, we are not just saying things. We are not just saying words. We are, as I said, we are making available certain value of ours. A person who communicates is characterized by his own experience. He's characterized by his own culture. He's characterized by his own knowledge. His own experience. Everything that, con that, that really consists of his personality is what he's making available in his communication. And when he places it at, um, at his disposal, he is expecting one thing. That those who listen to his communication 
important la sua communication will arise and participate and share in what he's making available so that by sharing what he's making available both the speaker and the listener who are involved in the sharing who are involved in the exchange they can build one name they can build one identity so that they become the same and that is what God is doing in his communication hallelujah hallelujah we also need to start understand one thing that there are styles of communication there are approaches of communication we can we can communicate with words and that is called verbal communication we can communicate without words and that becomes non-verbal communication it could be signs it could be sound it could be silence but we are communicating all the same and if the listeners are able to perceive what the communicator is saying that communicator is doing just one thing and one thing alone E lui sta facendo soltanto o soltanto una cosa. He is arousing a reaction in us. Sta rialzando una una reazione in noi. He is arousing a behavior in us. Sta rialzando una comportamento di comportamento. He is arousing a conduct in us. Sta rialzando una condotto e conduco in noi. The conduct is meant for us to react and participate in what is being said. La cosa che fa che noi partecipiamo a quello che sta dicendo. That is what God is doing today. Quella che Dio sta facendo oggi. He is the greatest communicator. È la il comunicatore più grande. But as I said, the communicator has his own culture. He has his own mindset. The receiver of the communication is also characterized by his own character. By his own nature. So they can be different. So if they are different, how can they become one? How can they become of one name? It is by sharing. Now let's read a scripture. Leggiamo una scrittura. In the book of Isaiah. In Bibbia di Isaia. Chapter 55. Capitolo 55. Amen. Dov è Version? Isaiah 55. Isaiah chapter 55. Okay, there we are. Now let's read from verse 8. Da versetto 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth, but and it make that it may have it make it seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereunto I send it. Amen. 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 That is the word of the Lord. Now that is the greatest communicator speaking. È la comunicatore più grande che sta parlando. He says, "I want to fellowship with you. I want to interact with the humanity. But there is a problem. They are of one identity. Hanno un'altra identità. And I am also of one identity. Anche lui è un'altra identità diversa. So we are not compatible. Quindi non siamo compatibili. We are different. Siamo diversi. But we need to share. Però dobbiamo dividere. We need to become one. Dobbiamo essere uniti. There is a need for us to construct." one single name and it comes about by sharing so that if I can make available my essence to you and my essence my communication is able to arouse you to really react to what I'm saying my own essence that proceeds from my presence it has the ability to do one thing to cause you to respond to react 
per gli altri per to, per to share per dividere and to become like that essence of mine that goes for me per essere come lui che è una cosa che esce da lui alleluia amen amen let's get one thing vediamo una cosa human is speaking Now, everyone who wishes to communicate something, more often than not, the idea in their mind is 100%. Humanly speaking, when we try to share this idea, we are often not able to communicate the 100% idea we have in our mind. We are able to communicate just 70% of the 100% we have in our mind. And out of the 70%, The listeners are able to get just about 50%. Quelle che le sono dati sono state 50%. They are able to understand 30%. E lo sono ben sono capito sono state 30%. And they are able to retain and remember just 10%. E loro riuscono a ricordare soltanto 10%. But that is human. Questo è umano. God hasn't got that communicative deficiency. Questo a Dio non ha questa comunicazione. If the idea is 100%, se la sua idea è 100%, 100% that goes forth from him. E il 100% che esce da lui. And when it goes forth, quando va, he ex expecting, lui le aspetta that the return to him is not 10% but it is 100% because he is God but then he said that you are different and I'm different but I want the return and the dividend to be 100% not 10% how do we do? amen hallelujah amen now at one time una volta God, the Bible says, the, the Bible refers to the word of God as a two-edged sword. Dio ha spiegato le parole due di Dio come come un un una lancia che ha doppio che ha doppio una spada doppia. Una spada che ha doppio spada. What is that supposed to mean? Cosa significa? It means that it's God two effects. Vuol dire che ha due effetti. Now one thing is it cuts in the natural. Lui può tagliare nel naturale. But it cuts in the spiritual. Può anche tagliare nel spirituale. Amen. Amen. It means that it justifies. Vuol dire che giustifica. But it also condemns. Può anche ti può anche condannare. It is the same word. È la stessa parola. But we know that for a for a dispensation of time. Lo sappiamo che la dispensazione di tempo. By his own divine purpose. Con la sua eh, voglia di divinità. He had to use just one side of the word. Usare soltanto un parte della sua parola. Because he was dealing in that dispensation people who had only ability to hear one side of the word. Perché le persone hanno solo l'abilità di ascoltare la parte delle sue parole. So more often than not, at that time he used the natural side to cut. Ogni volta lui usa la parte naturale di tagliare. It is the same God. È lo stesso Dio. And so the people who heard him. Le persone che l'ascoltano. They heard him in the natural. L'ascolto the people who interacted with him they interacted in the natural it was the shadow version of his word it was the veil side of it but the Bible says that they had and they, were, they interacted with God on that side of his word but the problem is that that word did not benefit them it's not because the word of God is not the same word of God but it is the same word of God God, the source is the same. È la stessa parola, la fonte è lo stesso. And the word of God, when it comes to us, is supposed to generate life in us. Quando la parola di Dio arriva da noi, deve darci la vita in noi. But for those of that dispensation, per per quelli che sono in dispensazione, it did not benefit them. Non non li danno niente di danno. They did not see light. Non hanno visto la luce. So what was the problem? Qual è il problema? Hallelujah. Amen. Now I don't know how many of you have thought of the. The idea, the reason why God gave us two years. No, no, so what did you have pensato il motivo che Dio ci ha dato due orecchie? Now we haven't got two years because God wants to enhance our natural hearing ability. Non è che lui ci ha dato due orecchie perché vuole dare l'abilità. The Bible says that God uses the natural to educate us on the spiritual. Che Dio, la Bibbia dice che Dio usa la natura per educare noi. If we go through 
natural ears. The two natural ears have a voice. They speak a spiritual language. They are teaching us something about what God wants us to do. Now, as I said, in the past, people heard one side of the word of God, but they died. But the source of the word is the living God. Because at that time, they were using one ear. It was a natural ear. It was a natural side of the word. It was the same God that was speaking. It was the same God that was interacting with them. But then the word that came to them did not generate any life. Because according to the purpose and the plans of God, the people of that dispensation could only relate to him with that side of the ear. So they heard it, but they died all the same. The book of John makes us to understand Jesus said, He said, Your father's head man that came from heaven on the desert and they died all the same. Why? Because they heard it. They heard it. That natural ear is not able to digest. It's not able to translate. It's not able to translate. It's not able to really translate and the word of God and get you know, get the word of God in. So that that word was able to give them life. But it wasn't their fault. Because God purposed it to be so. But for that dispensation, he was going to relate to them. By that means. Hallelujah. Amen. And so they heard from the living God. But it died. Amen. 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 But we know one thing. That the dispensation is finished. Paul says one thing. He said God got hold of that. Like a piece of paper. He crumbled it. He threw it away and he said that this transition is over. And the Bible says that it's a day called today. And God started a new dispensation. And that dispensation is a dispensation of, of what? Of life. God is not using the other side of his word. So God has shut up that ear. Which he has the natural and is not able to give us life. He's not activated the other one. And the other one is meant to be in tune with the spirit. Because we are the dispensation of the spirit. We are the dispensation of life. Now the book of 2 uh, Corinthians. That's the God of uh, Corinthians. Chapter 3. Verse 6. He says that God has made an able ministers of the new covenant. He, he's made us able ministers that is interpreters of the new covenant because the, because the letter kills but the spirit gives life the people of the past had the letter and they died that dispensation is over but now God has not activated this dispensation of the spirit and God is speaking to his children today by the, through the second year which I call the digital ear because the analogical ear has finished its function even in our natural existence today in this country there, there was a dispensation of the analogic now at one time you had a television set in your house and it was transmitting by that technology but it's what is called the shut off the switch off it's been switched off so if you expect to receive images through that you can't because that technology is over now we move on to the digital technology so images are now being processed through that God has the same thing with us our second ear which is our spiritual digital ear is what God is activating today so that the images is sending the sound is sending the 
mandado esse Sunday must now be processed by that and if we are able to receive through that year we shall live because God wants us to live God is the greatest communicator hallelujah now if you look at the all the messages seven messages that, that were sent to the churches in Asia in the revelation Each, each time the Alpha and Omega finish speaking he will give a warning he will say that he who has an ear he is not saying he who has ears let him hear what the spirit not what the letter is saying because the function of the letter is over now he is saying it is now the dispensation of the other ear who has an ear let me hear what the spirit is saying amen. amen now if there was no need for us to hear with the other ear he wouldn't have highlighted it seven times he said mind how you hear because it is time for life it is time for us to hear with the spirit the word of God is a double edged sword it cuts in the natural it cuts in the spiritual but the problem is that in the church today our digital our analogical here is still much more active than the spiritual one so we don't hear the church listens with analogical ear and we replicate in analogic and, and so there's no life in the church today. that is a problem but Jesus is saying that he who has an ear he would have said he, just to make life easier for us he who has a spiritual ear but more you see God doesn't always want us to receive things what you call papa pronta everything has been prepared for us he wants us to raise it to understand what he's saying Hallelujah. Amen. So God wants us to partake of his essence. And it comes about through hearing. Through understanding. He is not speaking a plain language to us. That's what the Bible says that God has made us able ministers to interpret, to understand, to perceive, and have insight into the new covenant. Because that is where life comes from. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. If there's any prayer that the church needs to pray today, one prayer. Father. Size down my digit, my analogical ear. Activate my spiritual ear, my digital ear. Let me hear. If I'm ever going to leave, I must be able to hear. Now, Paul, Peter wanted Jesus to wash all his body. And he says, you don't need to do that. Because the words I speak to you, they already made you whole. Basically, he is saying that our life, if we are ever going to live an eternal life, it depends on our ability to hear. And today, God has anointed his servant. And he is going to speak the things of God unto us. He is going to help us to have insight into the deep things of God. In the book of Psalm 78, verse 2, God says something. I will open my mouth and I will speak to you in parable. Things of old. Things of old. What, what we are hearing today through our spiritual ears are things that have always been. Things we have forgotten because we went deep, deep, deep and we lost sight. We 
yes. sur la vista. So God is bringing remembrance unto us. Dio ti sta dando da ricordo. Through the eating of the proper bread of Christ. la mangiare il suo pane della vita. So God is saying. Quindi Dio sta dicendo. He who has an ear. Quello che hanno l'orecchio. Let him hear what the Spirit is saying. Deve ascoltare quello che dice lo Spirito. By the hearing of the Spirit. Tra verso l'ascoltare lo Spirito. We live. Viviremo. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.